Hey everyone, this is Collapse and Protect. If you've been with the channel before, then welcome back. If you're new to the channel, then let me explain to you how this is gonna go. This is the Emperor SR5, and it's a semi-automatic 12 gauge budget shotgun. As you can see, we've got a lot of shells here to feed this thing. So we're gonna run slugs, birdshot, and buckshot through this thing and see just exactly how it holds up. By the end of the review, we will have run over 250 shells through the SR5. And at that point, we'll be able to say whether or not we can trust our lives to a shotgun like this. Before we get into the video, I've got to thank two of our sponsors for keeping us safe today. The first being High Risk Training. If you're interested in premium quality gear, go check them out. They make some really high quality stuff like plate carriers, different types of placards to hold ammunition and gear. For example, this is their shotgun shell placard. They make some awesome battle belts and pretty much any kind of pouch that you could want too. And even if you're doing everything right at the range, accidents can still happen and that's why we carry an IFAC on us. This one's from Rhino Rescue and it's made out of quality materials while being extremely well priced. They carry a bunch of different size blowout kits and IFACs and if you use code collapse and protect it'll get you 15% off your order. The specs. The SR5 is a 12 gauge semi-automatic shotgun. It holds four shells in the factory magazine tube and one in the chamber for a total of five shells. It's gas driven and has an 18 and a half inch barrel and it weighs just under six pounds so this is a lightweight shotgun for sure. It's got this really nice cushy butt pad at the back that helps absorb a a lot of recoil. The pistol grip is rubberized and it fits my hand perfectly. It's got a cross bolt safety and a plastic trigger guard. Adjustable ghost ring sights with Picatinny rail, both are removable. A slightly oversized charging handle and a standard size bolt release. A finger groove molded hand guard and it also has a Picatinny rail on the bottom towards the front and a very nice red high visibility fiber optic front post. So the SR5 is made in Turkey so it can accept up to three inch shells, but we're not gonna run those because those tend to destroy these things. So we're gonna run some two and three quarter inch slugs. Will the SR5 run slugs? Absolutely it will. And I would hope so because slugs are usually the easiest type of shell to load because they have so much recoil pushing that bolt back. Next, we're gonna try some of this Nobel Sport Buckshot. This is some of my favorite stuff. No problem. Now we're just gonna go for some of this low brass bird shot. And this is the real test for this thing. A lot of budget shotguns won't be able to cycle bird shot because they're just lower powered. Will it run bird shot? Absolutely. Flawless, no issues. Now I will say my biggest concern so far is just that this bolt release is very stiff. It takes a lot of force to push this in when that bolt is back. But with that said, it has been loosening up and over time, it's just gonna get more smooth. Now let's test out the accuracy. So let's stretch the SR5's legs and do a little bit of longer range accuracy testing. We've got a problem, this little sapling is in the way and I can't see the target. Perfect. All right, for our accuracy test at longer distances, we've got these Federal Premium Law Enforcement Tactical Rifled Slugs. So this is 30 yards, this should be no problem. This is 70 yards, this should be pretty easy too. And this is 100 yards, this shouldn't be too bad either. Well, there you have it. The iron sights on this thing work like a charm and that front fiber optic post makes it really easy to acquire the target. Let's get into the pros. The SR5 is lightning fast. It's so fast that I compare it to my Benelli M4. Now let's talk just speed. Benelli M4, as fast as I can pull the trigger, four shells. I outran it. Yeah, I outran the gun, okay? Now here's the SR5, same thing. As fast as I can pull the trigger, four shells in the gun. Now I didn't outrun this one. And I think the reason I didn't outrun this one is because the trigger on this thing is just a little bit more stiff and it has a slightly longer trigger pull. So it takes a lot more work if you're going to try to outrun the gun. This thing has like barely any travel and it's super light and smooth. There's the reset. 
and then hit it again. So if nothing else, I've figured out that the Benelli M4 is easier to outrun than that SR5. In the case of the SR5, that's a good thing. The SR5 is reliable. We've almost put 300 shells through the gun at this point, and we've only had one failure to extract, which took place in the first 10 shells. After that, we've had no more issues, and the SR5 just keeps getting smoother. It's accurate. We were able to ring steel at 100 yards without even sighting it in. That was right out of the box. The price. Where else can you get a semi-automatic shotgun on sale for $130? I can't even fill up my truck twice for $130. Let's talk about the cons. And I've really only got one to talk about. That bolt release is stiff right out of the box. The good news is it loosened up quite a bit already. And I think that after a teardown and cleaning, it'll be a lot better. So we are at 298 shells in this thing, and this barrel is hot, but we're about to cross over the 300 shell count here. And this, for me, is going to determine whether or not I can trust my life with this thing, because we haven't had any malfunctions since that first failure to feed. That's it. It's good to go, guys. All right, this thing passed all my tests, so now that means it proved itself as a naked, just regular, unupgraded shotgun. Now we're going to build it out and make it the best it could be. Goodbye this thing. I don't understand the little pointy, you, you can't, I don't. Bye. Bye. We need to find some way to hold shells on this thing. And we need to find a way to carry this thing on ourselves. And I think we'll probably hook it up with a light. So stay tuned because in the next one, that's exactly what we're doing. We are going to kit this thing out and make it a combat shotgun for lack of a better term. So at the end of the day, does it really matter whether you've got a Benelli M4 or an SR5 when getting hit by one feels the exact same? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. I'm just going to put this down. This has been Collapse and Protect. Have fun and be safe.